Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with part four in the Kiara's Pizza PHP project. And in the last video, we created what you see on the screen now, right? This table of garbage data, right? Which represents, um, you know, open orders, right? And um, now I want to show you, let's uh, build the delete functionality, okay? So I have the project open in Visual Studio Code, and this is the display orders page. And this is the code we worked on last time. And now we want to add to this, right, to uh, this update, we want to make it, right, a link, right? So we want to make it, right, uh, a link, right, some type of link, right, that's going to uh, do something, right? So um, let me just do this. I'll just put slashes in front there. We're gonna call a PHP script, actually, We'll leave this one alone for now. That's update. I meant to do delete, okay? Let me do delete. Anchor href equals slash that, that, okay? And put this here. Let me make sure I did that right. Href, uh, no, I need to put a double quote right there. And let me just add a title. Title equals update, right? Just like that. I actually, I need to escape these again, or I could have used single quotes. Um, just wanted to do the escape thing this time. And here, uh, I'll put a title equal, equal, title equals, backslash quote, backslash quote. Uh, yeah, and I actually, and then we'll put uh, delete, right? So, um, yeah, let's just make sure if I go refresh this. Yeah, so now I have two links, update and delete, right? So I wanna provide the ability for a person to update this record or, or just flat out delete it, right? So for the delete, let's put in here, delete record.php. But we, we need to know, right, which record to delete, right? So if I create a, a query parameter and I say ID equals, right, we have access through the order to the ID column in the in in the 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 uh, the object, right? So could I could I just do this? Could I say order uh, and then get the ID? Could I could I do that or am I going to get an error? Let's see. Here we go. Oh, looks like it worked. So if I look. If I click on it, right, it's gonna take us to delete dash record ID equals one, right? And if I click on say uh, this one, it says ID equals five. So we just built, right, a quick way to take the order that we're, uh, we're given through our um, iterating through the array, right, of objects, right, a array of order objects, I took that order and I got its ID property, which happens to be the ID database column, right? So I think we have that done. Now we need to go and create a new script and we'll call this uh, delete-record.php. And this page is really, um, actually we'll, we'll put in some HTML here and we'll say, delete record, but you'll see in a minute, delete record, right? Um, so um, what we need to do is we need to check to see if there is an ID parameter in the URL, right? So we could do something like, like, like PHP, right? And then we can say if, right, uh, here, right? And then we can say is set, right, dollar underscore get, right? of ID, if it's set, then we can go and do stuff, right, with that ID. And in this case, we're gonna delete it. So what we do need, right, is we need that connectivity to the database, right? Because we're going to need to uh, delete the record through SQL. So what we can do now is we can create some SQL that says, hey, SQL, uh, um, delete, from a customer customer order where the ID is equal to, and remember, 
We don't pass variables into our SQL. We use named uh, placeholders and we'll put ID just like that, just like that. Okay, so now let's prepare our statement and let's say, hey database, let's call the prepare method and pass in the dollar SQL. Okay. All right, I think, uh, I think we're good so far, right? And then I need to say, hey, statement, execute. So I call your execute method, just like that. And then when I perform a delete, by the way, I want to limit, I'm on line 15, limit the amount, the number of rows that can be affected to one because I've been in situ. well, we're not gonna talk about it, all right? So we're gonna execute it, and now I should be able to get um, a row count back, right? I should be able to like do something like this, where I'm gonna say if uh, $db, I think it's row count, right? Like that, oh, not $db, it's $stmt, I believe, yeah. If the if the if uh, if there is a row count, right? If there is a row count, right? If there is a row count, and it's actually uh, equal to one, right? Then um, I can like redirect that uh, person back, maybe to the uh, location. I can uh, put them back to display records. Not PHP, and we'll do more with this later, right? So. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we get. So uh, let's delete whatever this weird order is here. Let's delete it. Oh, I have an error. It says PDO statement execute invalid. Oh, guess what? I forgot the uh, when I executed here. I need to put the associative array that contains the values, right? So here, right? I need to put dollar underscore post uh, get, and then I need to get the ID, right? Oops, right? We do make mistakes. So let's go back. Let's uh, click delete. Uh, and it says display rec. Oh, display orders, right? Display orders.php. Display orders. I'll go back. Let's do it again. Uh, let me refresh. See, it did so. Bruce Cheese. Ready? Delete. See how they're. The records are going away. So there we go. We, we have our delete functionality, all right? Um, so yeah. So what I could do, what I could do, right, is on the main display orders page, or uh, display orders, this page right here, right? I can put like something like at the top here, right? And I could put some PHP code here. And what I can do is I can say, well, if there is uh, something in the in the URL, if is set dollar underscore get message, right? If it's there, if there's something in the URL that has the key uh, message, one two, I have. Uh, let's see, one two one two. Okay, we're good. Then I just want to maybe create a a. Um, a division. Actually, we're going to do an alert, a bootstrap alert. We're going to say alert dash success, and then in here we're just class equals uh, alert alert success. What did I mess up? Let's see. One two one two. Let's see. One two. Yeah, I'm good there. Oh, guess what? I'm trying to uh, to yeah. So let's just echo this out right here. Echo out, I'll put it in single quotes, there's no variables, right? Like that. And I'll do the same thing here. Echo out, single quotes, no variables, right? And then inside, right, I'm gonna uh, echo out the message that I got, right? In the URL right here. So check this out. Uh, I'm gonna echo out dollar underscore get message. So if it's not there, right, if I just go to this page now, nothing's showing, right? Nothing is showing. But I'll go back to my delete, my delete logic, which is right here, delete record. 
And when we call displayOrders.php, we're just going to put message equals order, uh, order. And then we're going to put, believe it or not, percent to one, uh, percent two O is a space. Uh, message order deleted, right? Deleted exclamation point, just like that. So again, it's message order deleted is going to show up. So here we go. Goodbye, Lisa. There it is, order deleted, right? And then I can do it again. All of Lisa's orders we're getting rid of, right? Order deleted. So there you go, right? So again, just some of these concepts we've done before, but I, I just wanted to uh, go over them. And some of you are like, why is that thing so close there? Uh, let's go back to our page right here where we're sticking the message. And we can actually do uh, some margin top there of three. And I'll do it again. And now you can see it's away from the edge, okay, the top there. So there we go. That's delete. And I guess we have update left to do, right? And that's, that's one you're going to need to know for uh, the rest of your work in the class, right? All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, go have some pizza.